There is a growing debate in the 2020 presidential campaign over student loan forgiveness, proposals to relieve graduates from thousands of dollars in debt. 43 million borrowers in this country owe about one and a half trillion dollars in federal student loan debt. Mark Strassman looks at some of the impacts in our special Eye on America series, Life and Debt. I'm about 134. I owe $108,137.48 in student loans. $9,000 on minimum wage. Even two jobs wasn't enough. This will undoubtedly affect me far into the oh, future. Oh, it is making it extremely and hard for me to change careers. a huge part of every decision that I make. If you I want a good job, you have to go to college, but nobody really talks about the price. Taylor Smith is a millennial on the move at this Houston tech company. But at 25, she has put off buying a house, getting married, and starting a family. My debt has continued to build up as like one of my main stressors in life. I, I sacrificed the dream job to come home so I could take care of my bills. And the diploma? Yes, the most expensive piece of paper I own. To pay for Texas A&M, Smith worked full time throughout college. She also cobbled together 11 student loans. I probably graduated with about 53,000 in student debt. Did you understand what that number really meant? That number hit me for the first time my last semester of college. And it was the first time I saw the full balance and I had a panic attack immediately. Panic attack? An actual panic attack. You know, just thinking like, Oh my God, I just got myself in $50,000 of debt. Then she had to quit her first job, her dream job, registering voters in Colorado. I was struggling to buy groceries. I was donating plasma and doing like psychological studies just to get a few extra dollars. None of that would have been true without these college loans. No. That was a big reality check, realizing like this bill that I have is what's going to hold me back. 43 million Americans currently have student debt. The average household with student debt owes almost $48,000. 5.2 million of them are in default. And college costs keep rising. At Ohio State, a public university, in-state students pay $27,000 a year. An elite private school like Stanford costs $74,000. We're telling individuals, just take on the debt, it's worth it and the larger ramifications to, to their lives and our society are truly unknown. Seth Frotman is the executive director of the Student Borrower Protection Center, a nonprofit watchdog. Is student loan debt America's new financial crisis? I think the student debt crisis is here with no end or change in sight and absolutely zero plan to tackle this at the federal level. Teenagers with no credit history and no guaranteed job routinely borrow tens of thousands of dollars, loans guaranteed by the U.S. Department of Education. The federal government will always get their money. However they have to. We don't give student loan borrowers a second chance in bankruptcy. We let their wages be garnished. We even let their Social Security benefits be seized. Taylor Smith still owes $49,000. College can be life-changing. Mm -hmm. Are these loans also life-changing? They absolutely are. The moment you get an acceptance letter from a college, that's really the moment that you start taking on this debt. Thousands of millennials now walk around with six-figure student debt. In one survey, 60% of younger borrowers said they'd be in their 40s before their student loans are paid off. But it's not just millennials. Jeff, this is a multi-generational problem. Indeed it is. And Mark will be back tomorrow night here. We're going to look at the fastest growing group of borrowers, seniors. Mark Strassman, thanks again.